Today, I'm on the south end of Myrtle Beach at the Jack Nicklaus Design Pauly's Plantation. And I'm hanging out with my good buddy, World Golf Hall of Fame member, Nancy Lopez. I'm Charlie Reimer, and this is Riding with Reimer. <laughs> Nancy Lopez. Hello. Welcome to Myrtle Beach and Pauly's Plantation. You. Great Thank to see you. you. Thank you. We have got a wonderful golf course today designed by Jack Nicholas. I've got you loaded up. Hop in the cart. I can't wait to get you out there. I can't wait to get out there either. Right. You need any help getting up there? It's a big boy cart. Yeah, no, I'm a big girl. <laughs> Whatever you do, <laughs> don't uh, honk your horn today. So, Nancy, what? was more challenging, winning 48 LPGA events, playing your way into the World Golf Hall of Fame, or raising three daughters? Oh. <laughs> well, raising three daughters was fun. Uh. Um, but I had to travel with them, too, which, you know, after you win your first one, you're like, okay, I can do this. Never did I think I would get in the Hall of Fame, especially the LPGA Hall of Fame, because you really had to earn it, and the criteria was really, really difficult. Yeah, that's time. straight up points to get in the LPGA Hall well, of Fame. Well, now it's points. Back then, it was, uh, I had to win uh, two different majors with 30 wins. I kept winning the same major, the LPJ Championship, so. There's worse problems to have. <laughs> <laughs> In 1978, obviously, you were Rookie of the Year when you were winning those nine events and um, five straight at one point. You know, you were the queen of golf on the cover of all the magazines. And well, what do you remember most from 1978? Um, how much fun I was having, um, you know, being you know, 19 and then turning 20 in January of 78, so. You know, just uh, that that rookie year and, and being young and having fun and traveling to Japan and going to Europe, which I never thought I would. Here's this little Mexican girl that lives in Roswell, New Mexico, and we didn't have a lot. Um, my dad worked really hard in his auto body repair shop, and never did I ever think I was going to go to Japan or even Europe. Unfortunately, my mom passed away before I won any LPGA tournaments. Uh, she died in 77 after I got, got my card in July of 77, and um, my dad started traveling with me. Mm -hmm. So it was fun having him with me because it was my way of saying thank you to him wherever I could take him. Um, he was this little Hispanic man, wonderful guy, really strong Spanish accent, and um, just, you know, my best friend. My, and he, he was teacher. your teacher too, he yeah. Was my only teacher. And I got the sense that he never really played much golf, yet he taught a, Hall of Famer. Well, you know, he he learned golf from his um, the the gentleman that he worked for, and it was amazing that my dad had the mental ability to tell me how to play golf. Um, he played; he was good, uh, three handicap on a municipal golf course. But he just had the mental part of golf that was so strong, um, and that's what he taught me. You know, and being positive, play right. happy, my. Play happy? I know, I've seen it, the big the big tease that you have. Well, and he said, you so know, you play told happy me, on them. Yeah. He said I played better when I played happy. Yeah. So it was one of his philosophies. All right, Nancy, I got a great hole for you. 17 right. here at Pauly's Plantation. 138 like yards today. What club is that for you? My wedge. All right, let's go. Nancy is a funny thing. I notice your wedge. Seems to have an eight stamped on the bottom of it. <laughs> oh, how'd that happen? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see it. What a pretty hole. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's dead on Get right in there. there. Get. We'll take that one. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I've got more in store for you, so don't click that clicker. You mentioned how much golf has done for you, exceeding what your expectations were. I, I know a lot of us that golf has been really kind to, for me providing an education and a way to support my family, but the relationships that come along with it. Yeah. it, it is that why so many of us, when I say us, people in the golf industry are so passionate about getting kids involved because we, we know not everybody's gonna make 
the, the LPGA or the PGA right. Tour. Right. But if you play golf and you play it for a lifetime, you're going to get so much more out of it than you could possibly put into it. Absolutely. Golf, to me, probably kept me out of trouble. Mm. You know, I'm on the golf course. I know, you're I'm... a troublemaker at heart. <laughs> <laughs> I might have been, you never know. <laughs> you know, I used to do crazy things. I want to tell you what I did. Um, but I was still a good person. Is that what, that's what my dad always told me to be. A good person, honest, and work hard. And so I always kind of share that with kids too. Unfortunately though, my three girls don't play golf. I wish they would have played because I know when I'm doing anything with junior golfers, especially the little girls, mm -hmm. I kind of feel like they're my little girls and this is the thing that I didn't get to experience with them. Um, but that's okay. I, I think a lot of golf fans out there, they, they look at golf professionals and they don't see humans that are dealing with spouses or dealing with children. Sort of look at golf pros as like robots. I'm more interested in telling that sort of story or finding out what's going on with a player, things that you can't measure with a laser or put in a spreadsheet because people don't realize how emotional playing this game is and how you still have to deal with life even though you're a golf professional. Oh, absolutely, Charlie. I know, you know, um, I'm married now my third time, so my personal life wasn't always perfect, um, but I have three great daughters from it. Um, the thing is, when I played golf and there was anything that I had to go through in my personal life or just life, I always kind of left it outside the ropes. I always, you know, I always say enjoy. I enjoyed walking inside the ropes. Mm. I kind of let every life go away, you know, with whatever situation I was trying to handle, whatever feelings I was having. That was the only way I could really go out there and play golf. And, and when I would walk inside the ropes and start playing golf, um, I loved it. And I knew if I was gonna be away from my kids and I didn't wanna waste that time away from them. So I wanted to be my best. Now, I, I've been fortunate uh, in, in my broadcast career to be around a, a ton of Hall of Famers, men, women. And um, when, when and I look at your career, what you accomplished, and then your demeanor, how you carry yourself, you are by far the nicest athlete that I've ever been around in my oh, life. So I, I Thank mean, you. By, by far. And and I, I just want to ask you, if you had been meaner, do you think you'd have won more than 48 times? Well, I think if I wouldn't have three babies, I would have won more than 48 times. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to finish up on 18. So it's time like I'm going to ask you to hit driver. You don't mind hitting driver, do you? Yeah, no, I love my driver. Never have said that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nancy, before I get you to hit this driver, I want to ask you, you hand these tees out everywhere you go, nancylopezgolfadventures.com, which is your business, obviously, but on the top of the tee, very visibly, it says, play happy. I know everybody doesn't like to play happy. I like to play angry. <laughs> I wish I could play happy, but tell me, tell me about that tea and your company. Well, maybe I need to give you a few of these teas so you can keep a look at them. <laughs> it won't hurt. <laughs> We're, we teach my dad's philosophies uh, with Nancy Lopez Golf Adventures, and play happy was something my dad always told me because I think as he watched me as a young player, if he saw me get a little angry, he knew I didn't play better. So, so he always said, Nancy, when you play happy, you play better. Hmm. So that's where we got that from. That's a great philosophy. The other thing is, as we get older, it's a little harder to tee that golf ball up, and I like the big tee. <laughs> it, it is. It helps the ball not fall off the tee when you're shaking. <laughs> All right, let's see you drive right down the okay. middle. Okay. Like I said, drive right down the middle. <laughs> I'll take that one. That got some run in it, too. Nancy, I know you got a lot of places you can be on a day like this, and I can't tell you how much it means to me uh, for you to come spend the day with me here in Myrtle Beach. Well, Charlie, any time. I had a great time today. All right, Nancy. All right. This isn't exactly in your make zone, but I'm betting uh, you get it up there pretty close. No, I'll tend no, the flag. I'm, that's what I'm here for. I'm going to try and make it. Come on. Go. Oh, darn it. All right, I'm going to give you the rest of that one. <laughs> You're so Nancy, kind. 
you're the best. It's always great to spend time with you. Thank hey, you so much Charlie, for coming out. Thank you. It's so great to see you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. We're headed to break.